Our movie today opens with Theo waking up in a prison cell after spending the night there for public intoxication and disorderly conduct. He gets picked up by his boss Walter as that day was a very special day. Walter is the CEO of a company called Kepler Industries and they specialize in space missions and they've picked four astronauts for a very important mission. The astronauts are Theo, Bug, Dvorak and Theo's recent ex-girlfriend Emily. Walter informs the press that the four astronauts will be doing a special experiment designed to test the psychological effects of deep space travel and the astronauts will be locked inside a spaceship that's underground simulating space travel. The team will be staying in the spaceship for 400 days straight and if they manage to accomplish that successfully, they'll be eligible to go on a real mission as humanity takes the furthest step to colonizing the solar system. Everyone is excited except Theo who's hungover and still angry about his breakup. Theo will be leading the team as a captain and Emily is the doctor, Bugs the engineer and Dvorak has the main job and it will be to record their experiences and send it to the public every week. After the press conference ends, Walter whispers to Emily asking her if they had a deal and he then warns the whole team if they fail this mission that they will ruin their careers. The team then get into their ship and the 400 day simulation starts. The first thing they do is simulate a takeoff but before they could leave earth, their ship drags the launching materials giving the team a few seconds to fix it or they will fail the first test. Everyone scrambles to fix the situation but Theo was deep in thought. Emily finally snaps him back to reality and he manages to fix the situation, saving them from disqualification. Walter then congratulates them and tells them to rest for the day. They then all go to their quarters and find a gift that was left for all of them. Dvorak gets Playboy magazines, which he's very thankful for. Emily gets origami papers with one already done because she's a quirky girl. Bug gets a notebook because no one cares enough about him to give him something interesting and Theo gets playing cards so he won't get bored. Next, Theo is called into the medical center so Emily can keep track of his mental and physical health. She then asks him why he's not doing good, which really pisses him off cause she knows why and he reveals that she rejected him when he proposed to her which came out of nowhere for him since they were happy. Emily tells him that it's more complicated than he thinks but when he asks her to explain, she doesn't really give him an answer, she just tells him that they're done. After that, everyone meets up to eat dinner but before they eat, Emily comes with immunization vaccines that everyone needs to take. Dvorak refuses saying that he never heard of a vaccine during their training but everyone tells him that it was there and he agrees to do it anyways. He actually does it after Theo makes fun of him for fearing needles. Later that night, Dvorak comes to Emily's room and tells her if she wants to talk that he's actually there for her but she quickly shuts him down and tells him that she's okay and as he goes out of her room, he sees Theo giving him the side eye. Seven days pass and we see Dvorak vlogging while working out and he then uploads it for the outside to see and we then see Emily finishing her last origami paper and the movie then cuts again to day 26 Everybody's getting bored so Emily brings out a memory game to give everyone something to do to track their mental strength. Bug finishes first as Theo and Dvorak waste their time trying to compete with each other but suddenly the ship starts shaking and alarms start to go off and the team realizes that something is wrong. They immediately run to the control room to talk to mission control but they don't get a response from Walter or anyone else. They then think that this is part of the test so they examine what the problem is and they figure out that their solar panel is damaged so Theo tells them to conserve energy. The crew reaches 200 days and the day starts with them taking the immunity vaccine and Dvorak then goes to upload his weekly vlog but on the computer screen he briefly sees a message that read she's poisoning you and he then blinks and he only sees the message that says upload failed. Day 218, Bug finds a mouse on the spaceship and then brings it to the team to introduce them but Dvorak tells him to throw it away in the trash can. Bug then refuses saying that the mice will be part of the team, even giving it the name Jonathan. But Dvorak then forcibly takes the mice and stomps and kills it, which really annoys Theo and the two get into a fistfight. 
Emily breaks up the fight, and Dvorak goes back to his room, and he then checks the damage to his face in front of the mirror, and at first a little blood comes out of his nose, but then the blood comes out of his eyes, then everywhere covering his face. Dvorak starts to freak out, but then the blood just disappears. He then goes to tell what happened to Emily, but she tells him that he's just dehydrated, and that's why he's seeing things. He then returns to his room and tries to upload, and it still says no network, and we then see the videos for the past 4 weeks have failed to upload, making him frustrated and he tries again, but this time he sees a message that reads, they hate you, and an image of him from his childhood makes him freak out more, and he breaks the keyboard. Next we see Emily talking to Bug, and she asks him about his son Sam. He tells her that he feels really guilty about not being able to see him for a long time, and also about how not being able to see the sun and being stuck inside the ship is putting him on edge. Next we see the team on their 365 days on the ship, and Bug has been spending most of his time in his room, making everybody worry. Emily finally decides to talk to him, but he doesn't let her in, and we see him finishing drawing patterns all around his bedroom wall. He then starts hearing Sam's voice, and his room starts tilting, and he then sees Sam running under his bed and going into the vent. Bug follows Sam to the place that he told him about the mission, and Sam then disappears, and we see Bug crying on his bed. Next is day 373, Theo wakes up to a noise of something hitting the spaceship hatch, and everyone is confused as to who's doing that, but since protocol dictates to ignore it, they decide to go on about their day. The noise continues throughout the day, but everyone thinks it's a test, so they do their best to just ignore it, even though it's really annoying them. That night, Dvorak wakes up to a noise of something breaking, and he then follows the voice and sees a very skinny and malnourished man. Dvorak screams scared, and Theo comes in shortly after, and he then follows the man and finds him trying to climb out of the spaceship, but the man just falls off the ladder and goes unconscious. The team take him to the medical room and sedate him until they figure out what to do, and they figure out that the man got in through an access panel, but what doesn't really make sense is what the guy looks like. He looks like he hasn't eaten in days or maybe even weeks, and he had no clothes, and it kinda seemed like he's been starving for a while. Bug starts saying nothing makes sense, but he also gets dizzy and faints, and they then give him some water and put him back to sleep. That night, the oxygen levels on the ship start falling, making the CO2 levels rise. Theo wakes up from bad dreams and runs to Emily's room, but he finds her passed out on anxiety pills that she actually takes every day. He and Dvorak manage to save her by giving her CPR, and they figure out that they need to do something about the oxygen levels. Dvorak then examines the oxygen tanks and tells them that the oxygen level has been dropping from the outside, and that there's something that is broken in the ship's system. Emily explains to them that their body will adapt to the lower oxygen level, but for now, they will have to watch each other because the low oxygen can result in headaches, delusions, memory loss, and also hallucinations. Dvorak proposes they seal the breach, but Theo tells him that he's not gonna take the risk of someone dying and says that he's not gonna go out. Dvorak then argues that if they open the hatch, that they are going to lose the test and that he is not gonna let that happen, but before he can do anything about it, Bug hits him from the back and knocks him out. Theo and Bug then open the hatch and go out, and they find the area that they've been living under desolate and very cold. They then take a sample from the soil and get back to the ship, and Bud then analyzes the sample, and everyone else argues where they actually are, and Dvorak thinks that the company has moved them to a bunker and made the area desolate to make it look more like an alien planet, and Bud then returns with a shocking result and tells the team that he has found moon sand in the soil sample. This further gives confidence for Dvorak's guess, but the rest of the team is weirded out by the company putting moon sand on the outside, where the team would have not seen it until they finished the mission. They then decide to further investigate and they all put on their spacesuits and go out of the ship. They walk for an hour and finally find a house in the middle of nowhere, and they get into the home and find a picture of a man and his family when he looked like a healthy human. They find a map on the table, so they continue to walk until they finally reach a town with multiple houses, and the team starts shouting to get attention, but they get no response. 
Everything is quiet until one man named Zell comes out of a diner and just starts sweeping the floor. He then asks them to join him for dinner, and as he was the only person they met, they follow him into the diner. In the diner, they find more people just sitting there, and Dvorak notices some of them and remembers that they were part of the press team the day the team entered the ship. Zell then brings them food which only Dvorak eats, and Theo asks him what happened, and Zell informs them that nobody really knows what happened, but that something black on the sky collided on the moon and it brought it down. He tells them that some people think it was nukes or aliens, but no one really knows what actually happened. Dvorak is not impressed by the story, and asks Zell what press organization he works for, and asks him what Walter has told him, and this makes Zell angry, but he just tells them to leave by tomorrow. Dvorak still thinks that this is just a test, but from what they have seen, the rest of the team are starting to believe some kind of apocalypse has happened since they went inside the ship. The team then all go to a bar to blow off some steam, but Dvorak splits from them to talk to a pretty woman. After walking for a while, Theo goes to find Dvorak, and he asks the bartender if he's seen him, but he didn't. The team then thinks that he just left with the woman, and they decide to just wait for him at the bar. But, unfortunately, they get kicked out by the bartender after a while. The trio return to the diner to sleep, and they then come up with a system for one person to be watched while the others sleep and Bug takes the first shift and stays up, as Theo and Emily sleep. After a few hours, Bug gets bored and starts walking around, but as he opens a door he enters a hospital room with Sam on the bed. Bug tries to talk to the people there, but he gets no response, and then walks up to the bathroom and sees Sam again running into the hallway. He follows Sam, but he runs into Zell, who asks him what he's doing there. On day 399, Emily and Theo wake up from their sleep, and they ask where Bug is, but he tells them that only two of them came to the diner, and he then tells them that they were just oxygen deprived and seeing things. But Theo has had enough of this, and he starts looking around for hidden cameras. Zen then tells them that they should go back to their ship, but when Theo says what, he pretends that he didn't say ship. Theo then tries to confront him, but when Zell shows him his knife, he and Emily decide to leave. They run outside, but a storm splits them, and we follow Theo as he ends up in the diner's kitchen. There, he finds a man who broke into his ship, caged in a small box, begging for help. He then unlocks the cage and releases the man, but as he got out, he gets stabbed by an old woman. He then runs to Emily outside, and she quickly patches his wound, and they run to the man's home to rest for the night. As they lie on the floor, Theo asks her what Walter whispered to her, and she reveals to him that the reason she broke up with him was because Walter wanted them to break up, to study how they will deal with the situation. This makes Theo really upset, and asks why she didn't tell him this before, cause if she did, they could have just faked it, but she tries to explain herself, saying that Walter would have found out if they faked it, but Theo gives her the cold shoulder and goes back to sleep. Later, they wake up and run back to the ship, but they don't find neither Bug nor Dvorak there. Theo then goes back to the hatch to close it, but he sees Zell with two people, and he figures out that they've been following them and decides to defend the ship. Theo then goes out from the back side and takes out two of the men, as Zell enters the ship from the front. Zell whistles as he looks for Emily with his knife, but before he could get to her, Theo cuts him off, and Zell then claims that he came to take Theo to his friends who were waiting for him in the diner. But Theo wasn't buying any of that and they get into a fight. Theo is badly hurt, so he gets overpowered by Zell, but before Zell can finish off Theo, Emily stabs him in the back and kills him. The crew then reaches 400 days, just as Zell dies, and a recording of Walter comes up on the screen congratulating them for completing their mission successfully. Theo and Emily then see a bright light and a footstep coming from the hatch, and they grab each other's hands, but as they wait to see what's going to happen next, the movie ends.